We own a, a repair and service shop that uh, specializes in servicing and re restoring Corvettes. The nice thing about our business is that, you know, we can take the time to really make these cars as good as we're capable of doing it. And hopefully we can at least match factory standards in every case and hopefully exceed it most of the time. So we can take the time to level the surfaces, make the gaps uniform, make the panels flush, blueprint the engine, blueprint the, the spindles and make this car ride and handle and dial in all the clearances, you know, to, to where only the racers would have done it to that degree. But we can take the time to make these cars that good. So they're really a wonderful car to drive when they're thoroughly restored that way. You know, the windows will roll up and down, the doors will close like jewelry. And that's what our goal is, is to make these cars really um, at least as good as new when we're done. You know, among the cars that we've done for Ken, uh, probably my favorite is the car right behind us here, this 54 Corvette, which is a, a styling exercise. And there's a number of things that are not as stock as uh, the original ones. They did it in this uh, silver color with a two-tone alligator interior. It has a number of special features on it, like the most obvious is probably the headlight treat treatment. Well, the shark fin that you see in this 54 was an idea that they had a design staff and they built three cars this way and uh, one of them was this car here. You know, they made three and a half thousand 54s, but they only made one silver one equipped like this. So this car goes to a number of, you know, concour and uh, special, uh, you know, display events. And it's, it's such an elegant car that it always gets a lot of attention. This is kind of an interesting uh, situation that we have here. Uh, this kind of, well, it, it, it's easy to illustrate how these Corvettes were actually manufactured. If you look closely here, you'll see that there's a metal frame that goes around the windshield, and that frame actually goes down inside the hinge pillars, across the rocker, and up inside the lock pillar. And to these parts, the, they would start by attaching, and they would rivet a bonding strip. So a bonding strip is nothing but a piece of fiberglass, a rough piece of fiberglass that was glued to the bird cage. And these were roughed up on the outside and they could at attach the outer skin or the outer uh, fiberglass panels to the bonding strips. That's basically how they built the cars. This is the, the lower fender. We've removed the upper surround panel because it had some contamination was preventing us from keeping paint, it, it, preventing the paint from adhering. So we've ground that away. The new panel will go on there. We'll clamp that in place. We'll put adhesive there and, and install the new panel around there. You'll recall these cars had the uh, these supports in here had bearings so that the headlights would rotate in here. You can see there's there's some metal in there to give it some place to bolt to. And this the header likewise, we were talking like so you see this panel here is, a, is basically a bonding strip and it's riveted to a metal support header. So they rivet this on, and onto this is where we glue this, what we call the surround panel, which is basically what will close all this up other than the hood. Okay, what we're looking at here is a 67 with the front end surround all assembled on it. It's, it's getting ready for, for final paint. You can see we've had to do some repairs along that edge. After we install the surround panel and glue that all in place, we will put the hood on the car and try to fit it. If you look closely at this, this is a sheet wax product and it comes in different widths. It's like this is an eighth of an inch. We'll cut this product and put it inside the gaps and, and, and shape that so that when we run our body filler across these panels, it'll ensure that we maintain a gap that's exactly the width of this, this product. Finally, we've achieved the moment that we've all been waiting for. The car's now been painted, clear-coated, and uh, ready for final polish and reassembly. So you see how we have a beautiful car, a um, lot of attention to detail. All the, the uh, secondary areas are finished in the same manner that the outside of the car was, beautiful gloss. This isn't typical of factory production. This is what we do for a show car finish. Uh, the factory never had the time to spend a lot of time detailing those areas, but as you can see, uh, 
a lot of customers, they, they prefer to have a very, uh, let's say, over-restored car, and that's what we've accomplished here.